In today's video, I will be uh, installing a 2.5 inch SSD drive in a Hewlett Packard. This is a ProDesk 600 G1 small form factor computer, which you see right here. First thing we'll have to do is open the case. Well, there's this little latch here. You just push it this way and then it tilts open like that. And you just get the case off like that. Just lay this flat on the ground. The next thing you have to do is you need to remove the hard drive. But before you do that, you must do something. You must remove the SATA power cable, which I removed there. And I'm gonna lift this up like that so I can get access to the SATA data cable, which is right. I don't know if you can see that, it's right there. Just remove it like that. And to get this out, there's a little, let me take the camera out of this. show you um, there's a little thing right here you just push it out like out this way and this will help you release the hard drive like that and you could push back and get it out which I will show you next it's quite simple to do all right um, so I'm gonna get it out push that latch out like that and push this back and then pull up on it. That's all you have to do to remove the three and a half inch hard drive. And you have to re remove that before you get the, before you could put the 2.5 inch SSD into this rack right here. And as you can see, there's four uh, grommets, two here, two back there. And these grommets, for the three and a half inch hard drive isn't gonna work in the two and a half inch SSD as you can see. I put four grommets in there, they're different sizes, the diameter of the screws. In order to get the grommets in, you have to use a torque screw. You need a T10 torque bit. So I'm going to put that in there, like that, and you just get, uh, you just need to get the two and a half inch uh, grommets for the two and a half inch drive and you just put in the screw like this for all four sides, just thread it in. This is for a two and a half inch uh, hard driver SSD, this is a two and a half inch SSD and you just get it in like that just make sure it's not you don't over tighten the screw and you get it in like that all four sides two here two there just like so and uh, let me make sure all the screws are tightened Next thing you'll need to do is you'll need a um, SATA cable, something like this. Make sure you put one of them in the computer. So in the board there's, let me check, one, two, three, four SATA, SATA data. Um, let me zoom that in so you can see it better. See. Yeah, here. There's four of them. Just put it into one of them. Like so, it just goes in just one way. Move that up. Get better access to it. And just snap it right in there like that. Very simple. Next thing is I want to get this thing in. It goes in just one way. It goes from underneath. I don't know if I, the 
camera angle is good or not. Check. So you have to weave it in under thing. So here's the thing. It goes underneath only one way. So this part is facing out. So you could uh, plug in the cables and this part goes in like this. Quite simple from, from the bottom of course. hard to do on camera but it without ca without the camera it's quite easy to do make sure you lift this out before you do it like that now I got it in as you can see and then as after you get it in you just push it in it's kind of rough at first cuz I guess the rubber parts kind of like very tight but it does go right in just like so. And it locks into place as you can see. Whoops. As you can see, it locks into place like that. And then to get it out, you gotta unlock it again. Push it out and push it out that way. So now it's in, securely in. What I want to do is I want to put my hard drive in. Hard drive goes in the same way except from the top this time. Hard drive goes in from the top. And as you can see it has four grommets. Just like that. And it goes in the same way. This way is out so you can plug in the stuff. So IOs. Whoops and then just push it in like so that's it I think what I want to do now first is uh, just get the cabling in for the hard drive or the SSD I'm sorry this is rather too long I want something shorter that's why I brought a number of SATA cables not just one Take that out. Let me try to use maybe this one, a little bit shorter. Okay, good. So let me get that one in. A little bit hard to access. Uh, you know what? I think it's better if we just put in the cable before we put it into the mount. Let me try that first. That would probably be a lot easier, I think. Okay, so let me get the cable in first, like that. I think that's a lot easier. Trying to get it in like that's very, very, very hard. Oh, I don't like this cable. That's a crappy cable. Let me get another one. Just the way the cable is uh, set, it's not very convenient maybe I'll use something flat like this instead of using an angled cable which I have to put upside down like that which simply isn't gonna work because I have another cable on top of it or maybe let's see how this goes in is this no it's the same thing it's upside down just 
crap. So I suggest you use a flat uh, linear cable like this, which is a lot better, I think, in my opinion, like that. That is a lot better. I'm gonna weave it under again, get it in. The bottom part is pretty hard to get in, I think. It's very, because you have to do it underneath. It's very hard to access, unfortunately. Okay, now it's going in. So I just push it in again. Go snap. Okay, now it's in, good. So now it's in firmly. You have to do a lot of fiddling around with this in order to get it in. Unfortunately, it doesn't, unless if you don't want to put the hard drive back in, it's a lot easier. But if you want to put the hard drive back in, it's it's a little more involved. I want to get the power cable in. Let me try this one first. The one on the bottom. I'm trying to get that one. Okay, the power cable is in. And I have another one on the top, so let me get that. So let me get the hard drive in now. Three and a half inch hard drive. Here. Goes in this way. The input output stuff is here, so it's got to go in that way, like that. Make sure all the grommets are on there. This one's easy to get in. You just push it in and push it in like that. Push it down and push it in. Put the SATA power cable in. That's in. Let's say the data and power cable, just push it in just like that. Come back and now they're all in. So now I got my two and a half inch uh, SSD, uh, three and a half inch hard drive, and now it's ready to go. And they're all plugged in to the motherboard. So we'll show you. That's the SATA data ports. There's four of them. I think they're SATA six or something like that. So I'm using three of them, one for the five and a quarter inch um, slim CD drive or optical drive. I'm not sure if it's CD, it's a DVD, I'm sorry. DVD RW, uh, three and a half inch hard drive and underneath I have my uh, two and a half inch SSD they're all in and they're pretty good and that's pretty much it and they're all plugged in and it should be ready to go after I fire on the computer so that's how you get 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 the SSD in there it's not that difficult or anything it does take a little bit of work because you have to play around with different Say the cables and find the one that fits. So to get the to get the lid back on, you just put this at an angle like this, just like that. There's a, there's a hinge, and then push down, and now now that's it. You should be able to plug in your computer and uh, power it on. And that's pretty much it, and thanks for watching.